morning everybody this is NCP I just got back from the doctor and had a bunch of blood work done and I have this uh, ready on a uh, oh heck the A1C home test I want to test its accuracy versus the lab results from the doctor so I've had this thing for a while and just been lazy and haven't did it and then we'll do a, a, a scan here in a minute of my my uh, sugar level but um this is on the keto diet uh, last test we had was a 10.2 was our last A1C A1C whatever A1C so let's go ahead and do this uh, this is how to do the radion test uh, I've never did it before so I may screw it up I may not either way no loss all the lot numbers are the same so we got to open up the blood shaker uh, sample thing first and there it is basically I don't know that's a sample collection there. Uh, this is the sample vial that we put it in. Everything shakes. We're going to push the seal. And that's the chemicals. This is their lancet. I'm going to use mine because it's set for me for a good collecting sample. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to take mine. And I'm going to, I guess, here. I'm pushing it in real hard because I want to get a good sample. See if that did or not. Don't have a lot of feeling anymore. Yeah, I'm not happy with that. So let's do it again. Let's try here. I don't know. I didn't really feel it. Okay, that's that's a good sample, I guess. So <clears throat> we take the sample thing here, and we're gonna touch it and let it uh, go up through capillary action. Geez, I hope that's enough. I think I need some more blood. Crud. There we go. Some more blood up in there. Okay, now it's completely filled. Okay. Now I'm going to push in here hard. And we're going to pierce the seal down there and shake it six to eight times. There, it's all the way in, so I'll shake it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll let this set aside. Now we're going to take our cartridge, measure the lot numbers. Everything's good. Lot numbers good. We're going to open this. Okay. And we're going to make sure it has the same number on the side. K9, K9. And we're going to push it in and wait for it to say sample on top. And it's going to click. There we go. It says wait. Then it'll say sample when it's ready. It's ready. And we're just going to give it a sharp jab, a real quick jab on the sample thing here. And we're going to have to leave this alone while it's running. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the tap, cap off. And we're going to just deliver it. Sample's delivered in, I guess, one second. So here we go. And go. And that's it. Now we just have to wait. We've got to wait like five minutes. So, I'm just going to set this here, and we're going to let this run for five minutes. I just don't want to mess with that at all, so I don't want to touch it. So we'll take a blood test now. Or yeah, a glucose test. This one's a lot faster. Now I can see it's 120 right now after actually. So that's that's a little bit high. That's a little bit high. It really is. A little high for me anyway. So we'll see. Uh, 120. So we'll let this thing run, and in three minutes and 20 seconds, we'll have our A1C. Supposedly, I guess. If I did it right. I don't know. Never did it before. But I'm going to have my coffee now. This is all done fasting. Which I don't believe fasting really matters on the, uh, the A1C. But I have been out messing around and running around doctors and doing some physical movement. So on my diet, 
that can actually raise blood sugar on the ketosis diet or ketogenic diet because it creates sugar as your muscles need it called gluconeogenesis that's where you take proteins and fats and make sugar out of it so there we go I guess I'll just fast forward to this part here Here we go, we're getting our results. We're excited, we don't know. And I guess quality control is okay. 7.4, that's still kind of high, but it tells me that it hasn't really been uh, maintained as well as I should have. 7.4, that's a lot higher than my thing is, so than my phone predicted at six. Anything under seven I guess is good, but 7.4 is kind of high. Which means, like I said, I haven't been taken care of as well as I thought. So, I'm sure the next one in three months will be a lot different. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the lab says. Um, I'll just wait till I get the lab results to post this video. And then we'll have the actual thing. Today is Monday, or Tuesday, the May 31st, 2016. About 10 in the morning, so we'll see. Uh, when I get the lab results, I'll, I'll edit this video. I'll add to the video. But yeah, 7.4, that's a little higher than I thought it would be. Let's hope this is different than what the doctor says, because I don't want it to be that high. But last time it was 10.2, and this is 7.4 without any medication whatsoever. So, that's still, I think anything under 7 is pre-diabetic. So my sugar has been going up a little bit. So there you go. Alright, let's look at pepper, and I'll just edit when I get to the other part, and I'll add it. I'll be back. Okay, as you see, I uh, got the test results, and they were just posted on the website for my medical. And it shows here that we have a 6.7. So, I don't know the tolerances of the doctor's test. And I also don't know the tolerance of the A1C home test, the tolerance. So, this is a, there is a discrepancy here. Um, it's saying my blood sugar is average of, um, 146. And, uh, like I said, my phone's data doesn't go back that far, um, because I switch phones. But, this is what we're at right now. And, um, I'll do a, another part here with the full blood work on the ketosis diet. But, for now, uh, this is just on how to use the A1C meter, the home test. And like I said, it looks like there's tolerances, or maybe I made something different, or did something different. Uh, it was all done fasting, and this is about, oh, maybe 20 or 30 minutes after I had the blood drawn by the um, phlebotomist, the blood doctor, the phlebotomist. So, there you go, you know, it is what it is. So, we got to get those sugars down, so we'll see. There you go. I'll do an update later and or a little bit today. And you guys have a great day and ask questions. And if I know the answer, I'll tell you. All right, have a good one. North Grand Pepper out.